Top Gun is here and we can learn from Maverick. Even though we are volleyball players, Maverick shows us five lessons that are important to us. Several times in the movie you will hear the message don't think but act. When you have to decide how to react in a moment in the cockpit of a fighter jet, you don't have time to think. And that's exactly the same for volleyball. We can think about volleyball, about the game before practice, uh, the game or after the game. But at the last moment, uh, when the ball is coming at us, uh, we shouldn't think. That's easy to say, but harder to do. You should come to this state. Uh, thousands of touches of the ball, hundreds of uh, attacks, uh, receptions, uh, passes will lead you to that state of not having to think. Then you will react uh, instinctively. Evaluate the situation and play the ball much faster than if you had uh, thought about it. Within a few hundreds of uh, seconds uh, you'll know where to hit. Uh, you'll react uh, quickly, instinctively to an, an uh, incoming hard jump serve. You'll simply play without having to think about your action. Maverick wants to get the best out of his pilots. He wants to push their limits. Because the limits we set for ourselves are often far below our actual limits. Below the things we are capable of doing. Below the actions we are capable of uh, doing in volleyball. So work on your limits. Uh, try to push them 1% more every practice. You'll find that uh, you can improve uh, a lot of your limits, not by a little bit, but by a lot. You'll find that uh, you can attack against the triple block and be successful. You'll see that uh, no tip has to fall in the field. Uh, you'll see that even the hardest jump serve can be passed. You just uh, don't accept your limits and instead uh, keep pushing them. Also Maverick in the movie needs a team to accomplish the mission. Without a well-functioning team uh, they have no chance to succeed and even then their mission seems suicidal. That's why uh, Maverick trains his team, motivates them and shows them uh, how to fly. The same is true in volleyball. You can have uh, one Maverick, one star on the court, uh, but forget about winning uh, because of this uh, great player. One great player is not enough. Uh, you need a good team, a team that pulls together. Then you have a chance to win. There is one scene, uh, Maverick throws away the book and manual for the F-18. For him it's uh, something everyone knows, uh, not just his pilots but also his enemy. Instead, he challenges his pilots to practice to show him their skills in extremely difficult conditions. Again, I couldn't agree more. It's great to know theoretically how to play volleyball, how to hit, uh, where to stand on the block. But if you don't have uh, everything uh, backed up uh, by practice, uh, don't count on a good performance. And by practice, I mean thousands of volleyball actions, uh, dozens and hundreds of uh, matches. Without practice, uh, without critical moments in uh, matches, uh, without tough moments and sometimes uh, without pain, you don't become the players uh, that Maverick or a top coach would put in a tense match. So work on your volleyball skills, uh, educate yourself, uh, but most importantly, keep touching the ball. There is a great scene uh, in the beginning of the movie where Maverick is uh, tasked uh, with reaching Mach 10 with his super plane. No one has ever done it before, only he is capable of it and he has a moment to decide if he is going uh, to go for it. Of course he is going to go for it. He breaks Mach 10, uh, meets his goal, but then the compulsion comes to push his record even further. To add a little bit more, eventually he breaks that magic speed limit, but the end result in a crash and lucky survival. So even in volleyball, don't do everything at 250% even if you feel great. Our bodies have limits. I have experienced it myself. One summer I told myself I was going to make myself a terminator. I ran 10 kilometers in the morning, then went to the gym for 2 hours. In the afternoon I spent another 3 hours on the court. That's uh, 5 days a week for a month. I felt great until I strained my back during a trivial movement at the end of the month. And for the next 14 days I was glad I could walk. And almost all the effort and hard work uh, went to waste. So listen to your body, give it a good hard training, but also don't forget about recovery, massage, a good night's sleep, a sauna and similar recovery methods that will keep your body in good shape uh, for a long term. Like I said, Maverick and Tom Cruise are great at Top Gun. Yes, Tom Cruise uh, may not be the best volleyball player in the world, but the actor is great. Just like the five lessons that were sounded in Top Gun that we volleyball players can learn from and sometimes follow. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.